In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the updated version of Pokemod for TCG Card Shop Simulator. Those of you who watched my previous video on this mod will know that the mod creator added plushies. So that completely changed how the installation works. Unfortunately, when that happened, I was actually overseas. So I haven't actually been able to put another video up until now. So anyway, let's get right into it. So I'm going to go into the game here and quickly show you guys something. So as you can see, I completely removed all of my mods and started a brand new save file so you guys can see every step of the process, how to install Bepin EX, the texture replacer, and then the mod itself. All right, so I'm out of the game now and I am on nexusmods.com. I will put links again, just like in the other videos, to all of this stuff. So in nexusmods.com, you can see the Pokemod mod here. So you're going to want to, if you can't see it, you can just search for it. So on Nexus Mods, if you just search for Pokemod, it should come up right there. So it'll take you straight in from the search results. You can just click right on here. Now for me, it says it's already been downloaded because of course I downloaded it already, but I actually cleared everything. Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to go into Steam, right click on your Steam icon and go to library or just go into the library on Steam the normal way, just like up here in the top. And then on TCG Card Shop Simulator, you wanna right click on it, go to manage, and then go to browse local files. This will open up the folder that you need to put stuff into. So you can see here, I don't have any Bepin EX folders or anything. Now Bepin EX, for those of you who don't know, is the mod manager that manages all the mods that you install. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go back into your browser again. And then on the Pokemod, page you'll see down here it'll say requirements so the difference between this version and the previous version is the previous version was only handling the card textures so that was a completely different installation but now with the plushies and everything you need this texture replacer thing and you also need the Bepin EX pack for uh, TCG card shop simulator so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install Bepin EX so again come down to requirements and you'll be able to find it you can right click and just open a new tab so that you're not losing this page here and then go to that tab and then if you scroll down you'll see a files thing here so click on files and then you want to go manual download now keep in mind you do need to have a free account on uh, Nexus mods don't pay for anything you don't need to you know pay for a premium account or anything like that so you just click manual download here and then it'll pop up with the download window now I just make a folder on my desktop called TCG mods where it's just where I download all the mods so I'm gonna save Bepin EX and that's gonna save in the folder and now you can see it is in here okay so now I'm gonna in that folder I'm gonna click on the, the zip file so now this is a compressed folder right so if you're not familiar with how zip files work and stuff it's just it has all the files inside of it you just need to extract it so I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to extract all and then I'm just gonna say extract I'm not changing the names of anything just to keep it simple. Okay, so now it'll open up and it's now extracted. So I'm gonna close this window and just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna delete the zip file because you know I don't wanna clog up stuff. So this is the folder now that you extracted. What you wanna do is just click in here once and then you wanna grab all of this, okay? Right click and then copy it. Okay, and then you want to go into the TCG Card Shop Simulator folder that you opened up from Steam, the Steam library. And you just want to right click and paste all these files in here. Just replace anything that it asks you to replace. So now Bepin EX is installed. Now if you want to confirm that, go into the game, open it up. And you should double check this first before you move on to any other steps because that way you'll know exactly where the problems are. Okay. Now inside when you're, in, you're actually in the game load up the uh, load up your save and if it's working if you press f1 you'll see this pop up so that's how you know that Bepin EX is installed and now we're going to move on to the next step which is installing the texture replacer so again you go back to your browser you can close the Bepin EX tab now and then you want to go to texture replacer do the same thing right click open in new tab go over here and then scroll down to files click on files and then again, it says you need Bepin EX pack for TCG Car Shop Simulator. We already did that. So now we don't have to worry about that. You just manually download and then again, save it in your TCG mods folder or whatever folder. And then when it's done, you can go back here and then you'll see texture replacer in here now. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract all. And then I'm going to close this window. Just click in once and then copy this whole thing. 
with all of those other folders inside. And then you want to go to your TCG Car Shop Simulator folder. You want to go into Bepin EX plugins and then paste it here. Now you can close that in the browser. And then in the Pokemod one, you can now download this file. So go to files again, just like last time, hit manual download, download and then save it in your TCG mods folder or whatever folder. When it's done, you can again, just click on it, right click, extract all, and then extract it. Now when it's done again, it'll open up this. You can close that if you want, and then you'll see the extracted folder here. So now you double click in here and you'll see a TCG car shop simulator folder. Click into that. And then you'll see two folders here. You'll see Bepin EX and you'll see Car Shop Simulator Data. Okay. So first I would just grab this Car Shop Simulator Data folder. And that has like the music and the shared assets and everything. So you can just click this whole folder, copy it. And then go over to your uh, the Steam folder. And then you'll see Car Shop Simulator Data folder here, right? Inside common TCG Car Shop Simulator. And then just paste it in there. That will ask you to replace all the files. So this is replacing the actual card skins, the pack skins, and the music. Okay, not the plushies. For the plushies, you need to go back here, and then you need inside this Bepin EX folder, inside plugins, you'll see texture replacer. Right. So you just copy this texture replacer folder, and then go back to the other folder, the Steam folder, and then again go into Bepin EX plugins. And then you're going to just replace this texture replacer folder. So I'm going to paste that. So now that's done. Now you can go back into the game and it should work. Okay. I'm going to load my game, load this. And now you can see the Pokemon image here. That means that it worked. And there you go. Now you can see this is done. The packs are updated. If I open a pack, you'll see all the, the cards are different now, right? Now, if I load up my other game, and now you can see all the plushies are also updated and they're not like messed up looking and all this stuff. Like I know some people were complaining that the, uh, the, the, the plushies were like, look, they looked like they were squashed or something. But yeah, if you do it, if you install it this way, then it will work totally fine. And you can see all of the, you know, assets are updated and everything looks perfectly good. And it's just, yeah, it's super amazing. Um, all the packs are over here. It's all good. So that's basically how you do it. If you guys have any trouble at all, with any of this, what I would recommend you do is, and I'll show you exactly what to do if you have other mods already installed. So I have a folder on my desktop called Bepin EX Backup, which is, you know, this Bepin EX folder, right? It has the plugins folder and it has all my mods in it, auto light switch, auto set prices, right? It has everything in there. So I can just grab all these and copy them. And then I can just go back to the other folder go into Bepin EX plugins and then I could just paste these in here. So I'm going to paste and I'll just say replace and there it goes. So it, it put all my mods in except for the texture replacer folder, which was the only new one that had the working Pokemon one in it. So now if I go play, you can see now if I go to uh, normal settings, you can see all my mods are now here, right? So yep, that's it. So if you have any trouble, just, uh, you know, leave a comment and let me know what's going on. And like I said, if worst comes to worst, you can always just reinstall the whole thing. Just make sure you back up your Bepin EX folder if you have mods already. And worst comes to worst comes to worst if it doesn't work at all. And you go in one day and you see that, you know, none of the stuff is working properly. Then that's likely that the game got updated and the mod author needs to just update the mod. He's pretty good about doing that. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. So uh, everything should be fine once you update the mod after the game updates. But he did say that that shouldn't be a problem anymore. It shouldn't break anymore um, like it was before. It was like mod proofed or something. So yeah, now it, the game should work regardless. So you should be good. So that's it. Hopefully you guys uh, found this video useful. Please like and subscribe if you like the content. If you want to see more stuff on TCG Car Shot Simulator and other games of that nature, then let me know in the comments and we will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.